Gut. Stay, stay, the big one. Oh yeah, that is actually. No, I'll jog, I'll jog with you, yeah? Cool. Contrast to the Surrey <laughs> League, mate. Yeah. You know. I could have walked flats from yeah. Surrey League. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wish I did, actually. Yeah, that was rapid. Yeah. But uh, Europeans are not going to be like that, so. Not no. like Liverpool. So. No. Should be, should be alright. Morning, Mark. How are you today? Morning. Yeah, uh, doing good. A little cold today and bushy, but I've um, got a bit of a quicker session, so nice. it's going to be nice. Straight back from, uh, from Liverpool at the weekend. Uh, Euro cross country trials, how did that go? Um, yeah, third place. We were just chatting there on the warm up how, uh, how bad the course was. Really, really muddy. Um, haven't run cross country like, like that in a long time, so bit of a shock to the system. Um, I'm just praying, well, I know, Europeans is not going to be like that in what, about nine, ten days' time. Nice, and so what's the plan between, between now and then um, to, to get to Turin? Yeah, just get this decent session knocked out today and then we'll uh, do do a couple of lighter things and drop the mileage next week um, and just freshen up really. Do you mind walking us through the, the session today, what we've got on the cards? Uh, yeah, just kind of a continuous tempo session. I'll do 10 by 2 minutes with a minute float um, and then right into 10 by 1 minute with a minute float as well. I'll be looking to Run around 4.45 pace for the ons for the two minutes and then about 4.30 pace for the minutes. Um, just kind of working through, nothing too crazy. Not probably going to get any fitter from here on out until European, so yeah, nothing crazy. Just spin the legs a little bit and get 50 minutes of good running in. Early release plans on the, on the new year yet or are you just going to go through? Uh, cross and see what happens. Yeah, I'll just go through the cross country season and then kind of see where we're at. But I am definitely making a transition onto the roads. Um, so I'll look for a half marathon um, after I go to training camp in Kenya uh, in January. You're basing back in the, in the UK a lot more. Um, we can see any um, reason why that is, just like in the London cold? Um, yeah, I just wanted to be back in the UK a bit more moving forward, especially as they transition onto the roads, rather than Bowman being primarily a track-based team. Um, yeah, I've been in the UK, sorry, the US, for 10 years now, and I just thought I was ready for a change. Uh, my visa expired and things like that, so things kind of came together at the right time. Um, and yeah, just looking forward to being in the UK a little more and kind of having a few little changes, which is, which is sometimes a good thing making a change after doing the same thing year after year. So, yeah, excited, looking forward to it. Nice, and will that mean uh, a, change in, uh, a change in your coaching situation as well? Uh, it will, yeah. Um, that's yet to be determined. Haven't figured that much just yet. So, kind of getting help from British Athletics at the minute and just self-coaching pretty much, yeah. So. So how's your uh, mileage been progressing since uh, end of the season at summer and sort of coming into the winter period as well? Uh, yeah, I had, um, after kind of the track season, Commonwealth Games and stuff, kind of had a good break. Uh, I got COVID uh, just before Commonwealth Games and then just kind of wasn't feeling very good. So I think after that I had, had some road races going on. Uh, I wasn't running a lot of miles, just trying to pretty much get through the season and then yeah I took took some more time off had about three weeks where I wasn't really doing a whole lot and then I've just been building back from there so minus race in Liverpool last week uh, been hitting around 95 before then hopefully be around yeah 90 95 again this week and then just taper next week going into the European, so nice. done some good stuff, but uh, maybe need a few more weeks of that morning. Uh, so yeah, I'm just kind of 
building back up. But yeah, I'd say I've had maybe five good weeks of training and mileage, and hopefully that all comes together for Europeans. I like that. <laughs> yeah, Jakob will stop and make yourself a cup of tea. It doesn't run. It started running. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it'd take a few to get warmed up, but number three coming up. Roughly what kind of pace are you trying to hit for the ons and the uh, and offs? Uh, yeah, so that one's about 440 pace, um, which is about right, 440, 45, and then we're about a minute slower. Um, just touch over a minute slower for the offs, which would be about 530s, 540s, and then we'll obviously pick it up uh, for the one minute. Minutes go by super quick <laughs> on the recovery. <laughs> Halfway? Halfway for the two minutes, yeah. Five down, five to go.
long is the loop here? Um, so we should be at about four miles now. I did uh, four by two miles here and this is kind of where I turned around. So yeah, about four miles. Eight down, two to go. Nice morning actually, a little cold but apart from that no wind, no rain, can't complain. Ten efforts down. Moving on to the one-minute segments. So, try and pick up the pace a little bit now. Halfway? Uh, yeah, just five left. Probably just have to add on on the road a little bit. Uh, underestimate how how far we might get. So yeah, five left. How's the feeling? Yeah, it's good. Uh, I feel a lot better doing the shorter ones than the long ones. It's getting down to four, four eighteen, four twenty pace. So pretty good.
done. Yeah, all done. Glad it's done as well. <laughs> Happy with that? Yeah, not bad. Um, just felt I felt a lot better on the minutes than I did the two minutes, but um, yeah, good to get it done. Don't know how far I've quite covered, but um, decent shift. Um, and then just yeah, easy two mile cool down, and we'll be be about there. Nice. And in terms of sessions next week before Turin, what's that looking like? Yeah, um, kind of want to sit down this weekend and see what I want to do, but it won't be too much. Just something turning the legs over on. Tuesday or Wednesday, um, and then just pretty much easy running until uh, until race day on the Sunday. And then Christmas? Uh, yeah, yet to be determined. I, I mean, yeah, we'll, I don't know what I'll do before then, but yeah, get to chill for a little bit, relax with family and friends over the Christmas period, yeah, that'll be nice. Great, thanks, Mark. Yeah, cheers.